words that will indicate that it is likely text written by AI, so you can address them and sound more human-like. Hello, fellow writers and data scientists, Naruslan is here, and today I want to talk about the use of artificial intelligence in writing, use of AI in be it copywriting, blogging, side hustle. I am sure if you are doing a job that depends on writing, sooner or later you might run out of ideas. Yes, you might have heard by now about ChatGPT, LLMs. As a professional data scientist and writer myself, I find it painful to see the same construct of the text that is produced by AI, as if we are losing touch of our humanity. The thing is that when AI produces the text, it is usually very predictable. The length of sentences are usually the same. It follows a similar pattern. If you ask ChatGPT to write anything, I don't want to tell that, okay, I'm not using these tools, right? I really believe that AI at its state right now will not take your job, but those professionals who use those tools might take it because AI is not that smart or advanced yet to perform highly skilled work that requires a lot of years of education and professionalism and training. But it really helps with some productivity, for example, to say the least, right? Or a brainstorm. So I am also using AI tools and chat GPT to brainstorm and maybe create initial draft. But then I like to maybe cherry pick parts I like or simply rewrite this idea in my own work. And the thing is that this human touch is what makes you unique. For example, I might not sound as literal as text and written by chat GPT pretending to be Shakespeare or Hemingway or but it will be my own writing and I want to share with you some of the words that will indicate that it is likely text written by AI so you can address them and sound more human-like so let's get started like or it's like. That is just an overused comparison. Have you ever come across a text written by AI that says something like, it's like having your own body in data science. There is nothing wrong of using comparisons, right? It makes things simpler to understand, but if you are overusing the same word and the construct over and over again, it becomes obvious that it just lacks human touch and in variety. So instead, you can try using words like imagine. Imagine having a trustworthy companion in data science. For example, just even using some synonyms that would make speech more interesting will already make it sound more human-like. Next word on my list is think of X as Y. It's an unnecessary explanation. For example, think of it as a journey. When you have a reader who is reading your work, right, the text, they are already thinking. You do not necessarily have to emphasize that. Think of it as that. If you want to say it's a journey, just be more direct. It's a journey. It's more straightforward and it helps the content to just go smoothly. The phrase all about or it's all about. I again don't think that we should never use this word but if it is repeated several times that sounds really boring and dry. So for example uh, it's all about improving your productivity and writing right? Doesn't sound that much engaging and human-like but to make it so we can say discover effective strategies to boost your productivity and writing. See the difference? You don't say it's all about because you just directly state that what you want to say. It is about discovering effective ways and strategies to boost your productivity and in writing. I hope you can see this. Leave me a comment below if you would like to hear more examples or have your own or want even suggestions on how to improve it. Of course, this 
at least I mentioned only a, a couple of phrases, but they are kind of a clear indication that uh, something is written by AI and it it does not necessarily have to be. I know a lot of writers complained about their personal takes being flagged as AI because of these words, which is kind of stupid of those AI detectors, which again proves that AI technology detectors not as advanced as we can sometimes think and when we hear about all the new technologies and uh, advancements and happening around the world every day. But we should not lose the touch of being a human being, you know, the touch with uh, ourselves and our own creativity. A good uh, example is to use uh, paragraphs of three sentences, where you start with a short sentence, second is longer, and the last sentence is shorter again. So it goes short, long, short. Uh, usually AI-generated text doesn't follow this pattern. Their texts are homogeneously, uniformly, equally in, in length, and it makes it also kind of dry, lacks some creativity and form. Maybe you could try programming, prompting these LLMs to write in this particular way. But again, personally, in my experience, often I spend way too much time trying to come up with perfect prompt, which takes way longer amount of time to complete some task than if I were to just do it in myself from scratch. Sometimes if this task is not repetitive, then it's not worth it, let's be honest. But anyway, uh, using AI tools is a, a great hack for productivity. A lot of startups and businesses even grew by uh, using and implementing these tools. They are not that hard to implement but hard to scale that's why a lot of companies still struggle to use them right but as content creators to be in this frame of the video i just wanted to share some of these constructs i personally found myself recognize them and i hope it helps you if you enjoy this video give it a like and subscribe to the channel and help the youtube algorithm to share this information see you next time Bye.